I grabbed another body form from Hobby Lobby and painted it white. I have done multiple ones before. I just really love decorating these. It's kind of like being um, a little girl with a doll. And I started with a napkin from Christmas Tree Shop that I cut a panel for the front of her and a panel for the back. And I'm using one hour enamel to decoupage. Now remember, saran wrap is a great tool when you're dealing with delicate paper. Once it's wet, and it just keeps it from tearing. And I love to use a brayer. It's just a quick way of flattening it out and getting the wrinkles out. And then I did my second coat of one hour enamel and allowed that to dry. Once dried, I wasn't 100% sure the direction I was going, so I started by taking my Republic Red and filling in the sides, and now I have somewhat of a skirt here. I found that spray at Hobby Lobby, and I pulled off two American flags. Wasn't great, uh, wasn't crazy about the red. It didn't really match, uh, so I decided to paint the stripes on my little flags. So they matched my project a little better. And I took two of these flags and started creating a bust line uh, with the flags and a hot glue gun. Then I found this burlap style uh, ribbon that I started to um, continue her dress down her waistline with this fabric, this ribbon and just hot glued it around to the back. And then at that point, I just created a, a tie in the back. Now the next step is I did put another ribbon around her waist with stars and I ended up not really liking it. So I'm not gonna focus on that, but you're gonna see it as the glue just kept, it just did not look nice. The glue was seeping through it and it was not attractive. So there was another ribbon with stars that I did put around her waist, but I'm gonna cover that. So I decided to um, bring her dress all the way to the bottom with the Republic Red. And I took some gold and started to like pull everything together by putting this gold on my stripes, on the stars on her bust line. And through any of the white on the flag, I added some of the gold. Just to pull everything together like it belonged. And then I did my second coat on the Republic red part of her dress. And there's that ribbon that I used that just was a, not working out for me. So at this point, I put one hour enamel all over her. And I found, I don't know if you've ever seen these um, sequence that you can get right at Dollar Tree. It comes in a sheet, cut them any shape you want, and they have um, adhesive on the back. It's almost like a, like a sticker. You take the back off and you can peel it and apply it, and it's very flexible. And I covered that ribbon with this and just started making her a gold uh, belt line. And I put that little burlap button in the back. Kind of look like a fastener of some sort. So then I decided to take more of this sequence. And again, it's quite easy. It's these little stones. It's quite easy to cut. You do need a little bit of a smaller scissor to go between the gems, but um, this was a lot of fun to work with. And I created stripes going down her sides.
This is quite sticky. I did not really need additional glue or anything for these. They adhered quite well. And then remember the transfers that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I found some that were very patriotic. It's the gold foil, very easy to apply. I put one on the front of this USA and then I put one in the back. These just added a nice touch to what I was doing here. Uh, this one said, we the people. This is the Statue of Liberty. And I just started placing these randomly <clears throat> around her. Liberty Bell. Really keep your eyes peeled for these rub-on transfers at the Dollar Tree in the craft section. Um, they do have newer ones that just came out. So I went back to the spray that I had that I took the flags off of. And I took some of these stars and created a, a necklace for her. Out of the burlap stars. And then I took a few more stars and just added them to her waistline. And then I had this Pip Berry uh, spray that I glued to the side of, to the front of her belt line and a little gold button. And there you go. So here you have this adorable, um, I'm calling her Lady Liberty. I took this glass candlestick and placed it as her post. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube or our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you.